Hi, you've reached Dr. Kathleen. I have a doctorate in integrative medicine, so I look at the whole health of a person using evidence-based nutritional and natural therapies. Today, I'm going to talk briefly about a condition called estrogen dominance, in which our hormones are out of balance, particularly in women, so they have too much estrogen in relation to their progesterone. Common complaints of these women are acceleration of the aging process. Oftentimes, you feel like you've gotten older very quickly. You might have more severe premenstrual symptoms like water retention or bloating. Um, you could have a lot of breast tenderness, headaches. Other symptoms that other women complain about are decreased sex drive, so low libido, depression with anxiety or agitation, fat gain, especially around the abdomen or the hips or the thighs, foggy thinking, fibrocystic breasts where you get those lumpy, bumpy breasts. You might be getting um, in infertility issues, so you struggle with getting um, pregnant or you lose the, the baby with miscarriage, irregular menstrual periods, insomnia, so trouble sleeping, mood swings up and down, um, polycystic ovaries, um, prostate cancer in men, particularly, this might be a problem in men, and thyroid dysfunction mimicking hypothyroidism, even though the thyroid seems fine on testing with bloods. Uh, uterine fibroids is another condition that may be related to this hormonal imbalance. Now, why is it that this hormone balance occurs? It can be due to xenoestrogens, which are foreign estrogens, which are introduced to the body through consumption or exposure. The, the environment we live in, it's almost impossible to avoid xenoestrogens in our environment. So it is good if you can use, you know, personal and household cleaning products that are free of all the chemicals, for one thing. And also, this is actually a naturally occurring process in premenopause, so the period before menopause, which starts probably around the 40s, but sometimes earlier for some women, in which progesterone levels start to decline, where estrogen is still staying up quite high. In menopause, is usually when the estrogen starts to, to match the lower levels of progesterone. So women start to feel pretty, can feel pretty lousy around kind of 40s onwards if they experience estrogen dominance. Another reason for this might just be genetic. So, um, for example, in my my family, mom has the, the estrogen receptive breast cancer. Sister has endometriosis, and of course, that left me with the only one um, not covered by that category, which was polycystic ovaries and the acne and the anxiety, the agitation, and trouble with fertility. So the good news is that there are lots of really good natural therapies out there that we can use. So they're either tablets or they're lotions, and they're all evidence-based. They're good products that can help us within, within a few months to get things back to normal. Of course, you should always visit your GP or your gynecologist specialist to rule out any other major underlying health conditions. And there is testing available if you haven't had this test, these tests yet. Um, you can do saliva hormones or dried urine tests. I prefer these tests over blood tests because blood tests don't tell us the whole picture. Dried urine and saliva give, give us the total bioavailable um, hormones content, whereas blood is only what's circulating in the blood. So I hope you've found this to be um, somewhat informative. If you wanted to order the test, if you haven't already, you can check out my website, www.drkathleen.co.nz, www.drkathleen.co.nz. Thanks for watching. Bye.